What's up guys, Dex here from Bahamas Jeep Club. So you could probably already tell from the title of this video that we're gonna be talking about interior. So let me show you guys what I did. So this right here is the custom interior I did on my 2014 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. I painted mine a gloss red. I'm gonna be doing the interior black and red. And I have a white exterior on this Jeep with a few red accents out there so that's my color scheme these parts are real easy let me turn the light back on for you guys these parts are real easy to come off i'm going to show you later on in the video and i painted them just with a simple spray can i'll show you which uh, make i used and uh, i didn't sand them i didn't think it was necessary because these parts don't get touched very often it's not like the door handle or anything. And um, and they look good, they look real well. So this is basically all you're gonna need to paint, take off and paint the interior trim of your Jeep. Uh, you're gonna wanna get the flat head screwdrivers. I chose to use this red gloss spray paint and you can see it bonds to plastic and then you're going to want to get some type of clear coat lacquer that also is um, is for plastic so let's grab our screwdriver we'll go inside the jeep and i'll show you guys how to take these pieces of trim off so we're back in the jeep now and the first thing we're going to do is take off these uh, ac vents and uh, what you want to do is i'm going to put the light down but what you want to do is you want to rotate these vents until they're at this angle about two o'clock and you want to point them down slightly what you're looking to do is on the inner ring there's a hole right here I'm going to show you guys with the light you want to line up both holes until you can stick the screwdriver straight in so these it's going vents to uh, like so until the two holes line up then what you're going to want to do is let me put the light down and grab the screwdriver you're gonna wanna find the hole in the screwdriver and you wanna push it in until it stops and then all you wanna do is rotate the vent to the right. You can pull your screwdriver back out and now the vent should slide right out. You wanna repeat the process for the next four vents and then I'm gonna show you how to take off the door trim. So the door trim guys is also very easy to come off. These nuts right here or bolts right here, they're actually just accent pieces. They just screw into this plastic plate. What you wanna do is just put your screwdriver in there and you wanna just pry it out. It'll pop right out with some pop clips and you could take it out. What I did is I actually unscrewed these so that they wouldn't get painted red and then I screwed them back in when the paint dried, pushed it back on, and that was that. Just so you guys get a better view of what I'm talking about, this is the vent, and if you look through the top, now you can see that hole. That, that hole right there on the top is where you're trying to stick the screwdriver through. Once you get it through, it'll lock, and then you'll be able to twist to the left. It should slide right out. When you have this out, yours is obviously going to be black if you haven't painted it yet and there's four clips there's one two three and four clips what you want to do is just gently pry a very small screwdriver under there it'll pop right off there's two pieces there's actually this black piece right here and then the plastic piece that's on the top and i i just painted the red or the which was black first i painted the red the top the plastic piece and left these accents black underneath and um, to put it back in is fairly easy as well all you want to do is you go inside your Jeep you want to put it in the same angle you took it out so the Jeep is going to be more to the left you want to slot it in not like I'm doing once it slides in you push it all the way in and then what you want to do is just turn it to the right 
it should clip and there you go that's your custom Jeep interior if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you guys think uh, if you do end up doing this feel free to post a photo and let me know what color you ended up painting the interior of your trim feel free to leave me a positive rating and subscribe for more custom videos like this